Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And as you can see, I have been busy. I actually added a second layer to the farm. Let me get a nice bird's eye view here for you. Let's see if I get up on the conveyors here. Uh, yeah, I add another 80 plants, another 8 multi-tool robots. Uh, so basically, I'm just using the conveyors to feed those into the existing dryers that we have. Uh, and so far we're doing good. The coke ovens have been uh, running pretty good. I've been mean, getting a bit of a bottleneck here, so what I'm doing is I'm actually switching this over so uh, the, the furnace is on this side here, or the dryers feed th this six, six here, and then the one, uh, four dryers in the back are going to feed th this six over here. And that's what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out exactly what the limit on this is. And I should actually count this. Uh, let's get a block out so we actually see what we're doing here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight. I could try one more, but I think that's going to actually be the limit is eight. So, which means I'm going to need one more here, probably there, and then we'll get one right at the end here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that should be it. All right. Now, I had a couple of things I wanted to do. One of the things I actually wanted to do is start getting into aluminum. Uh, there's a few other things I want to do before we get into aluminum. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, what do I want? Pink. Okay, and then we can turn red off here. Uh, pink goes into green and then goes out on pink. Okay, that works. And uh, the copper line is fine for here because it just gets split up anyways. So that means I can get one of these back here. Now hopefully this should run a little bit smoother. Uh, now there are going to be other issues down the road. Uh, so far the creosote is actually holding up. In fact, we're in surplus, which is good, which means all the, machine, all the ovens are actually running. Um, so I'm, I want to get a few more furnaces and we're going to be getting it, using that when we get into aluminum. Uh, we're also going to be using that today when we take this right here, the wastewater, and turn this into clay. Now wastewater, and it's actually easier just for me to go up to a machine. And uh, usage, uh, we'll go here and we get ore water fluid. Now if you run ore water fluid through a dryer, you get clay dust. And clay dust, you run through a steel press and you get a clay block and a clay block of course uh, you can run it through a cutting machine and you can get clay pieces very simple and that's going to be our source of clay because the clay will need uh, eventually when we get into uh, for the concrete and this is actually something I was looking at because uh, concrete is actually not a decent block but if we get into reinforced concrete we can get to you know the danger blocks fun stuff uh, but it also gives us a use for things we can do. Now the concrete, we need crushed brick, which we need the clay for, which we'll get from the water. We're just dumping down the drain anyways. And cement dust. Cement dust is just raw cement dust, which is, of course, clay dust and limestone. And limestone dust comes from limestone, which I have to gather, which should not be a problem. I think everything underneath me is limestone anyways. So that's what we're going to start working on. Uh... This is officially full, so I'm going to go ahead and close that, and we'll open that up, and we'll just let it go dump down the drain for now, and go from there. I probably should get more containers going, but nah, we're going to be using that eventually. Uh, another one we're going to have to start doing, too, is start dealing with the ash situation. Uh, so far, it's not out of control, but if the ash fills up, then uh, we're not going to be able to use it. Now, the ash is actually going to come in very handy for what we're getting into right now. Uh, or what we're getting into eventually. If I go into here and we'll go to aluminum, because this is where we're going. Aluminum is a multi-step multi process. The final process is going through an arc furnace with an aluminum carbide ingot. Or other things which we're not going to be doing. But aluminum carbide ingot is aluminum dust and carbon dust. The aluminum dust... It's uh, aluminum impure dust, which is running through the the whole wash plant and ore tripling and quadrupling and yada yada yada. Gets us aluminum oxide dust, which is what we need, and tungsten ore, which we'll get into later. But that with carbon dust, carbon dust is actually something I really enjoy. 
you take ash, which comes out of our furnaces, two to one, gets your carbon dust. Do an electrolyzer and uses one power. Carbon dust is actually a very, very good fuel source. Right, gets you 15 heat over 20 seconds, which is actually better than cold dust. So based, the only thing is, though, is there's almost no ash coming out of it. So you're basically recycling the ash, but to a point. Now, everything over here is currently running off of what's being grown right here. So basically, you got a perpetual fuel source because even the waste output of these furnaces can be cut, uh, cooked down into more fuel for not necessarily the furnaces, but to get into other things. But we're going to get into that later. Uh, what I do have to do is uh, figure out where I'm going to get everything set up, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm just crafting up a, a dryer right now. Uh, I think I do need to grab some pipe. I don't know if I showed this, but I actually made a chest for each one. This is the copper chest. I'll keep the copper parts in here. Grab some pipes and steel chest. This is where I keep all the steel parts in. And this is just for, you know, for my sake. But I was checking out the logic stuff, and I haven't quite figured it out. But here's the logic circuit. And this is basically how in-depth this game can get. Now, I haven't really gone around too much into it, but basically clocks or and, and statements or not. So basically, I guess, like, if two inventories are full or empty, you have an and, and then it either shuts off the thing and then, or does something. I don't know what latch does, but delays, true. Interesting stuff, I have no idea. I'll have to look and see if there's any documentation on it. Uh, there's also, there was another one that I was looking at too. It was, uh, oop, that doesn't go in there. Uh, steel, an uh, indicator, and it, it hooks up to a conveyor line. Like It tells you how many items per second and how many items per minute. And I'm guessing that has to do with how there's uh, like actual routes. So you can actually have specific things going on certain, certain routes probably. I don't really know. I'm gonna tr try something here. So input is blue, output is white. Oh, wait. I have no idea. I don't think it really matters. I mean, I always like whole areas of conveyors. But anyways, uh, I think we'll be good for here, so let's take this out of the way. Uh, I did grab some more copper just to try to get the creosote situation going because we've got three furnaces and it's not quite enough. Uh, what is in here? Uh, I think I got room for it. Oh, man, I dropped it. Not that I care, it's a stone furnace, but I need them to make the steel ones. Okay, uh, let's actually fill that hole in before I fall in. Uh, I believe... Is that a waistline? I don't believe it is. No, that's steam. Everything on the side is steam, so I know this is the waistline here. All right, anyways, so let's hop up. Now, as you can see, I have some terracotta, and I'm actually thinking about using that to color the area. I did have this area set up, but I think I might use this for the cement. So I'm gonna actually lay some of this tile down. You know, I made it, might as well use it. There are was it deconstructors or disassemblers or something which breaks things down but I don't think you can get that into stain until we get to stainless steel no oh, right there no no an assembler there should be a disassembler here somewhere that might even be stainless steel there we go disassembler look how expensive that is those robots too require a glass lens, uh, which means glass and a cutting machine and all that stuff. But uh, that's what I'm thinking for the color or the the scheme because it's gonna be clay, right? We're gonna be reprocessing water into clay. So let me get this all worked out, and I'll bring you back. All right, so here's what I got so far. So I know the waistline is here. Uh, so, I gotta get that in somewhere here, and I gotta sort of work it in. Like, it could go underneath. Uh, let's check the process on the skin. 
Uh, let's go with clay because I just happen to have some on me. Uh, clay, we like we need metal press and a stone dryer, so we don't need much. Uh, and I'll just do it right here then. I'll just feed it in from the bottom. It doesn't have to be all fancy, but I sh I've been thinking about it. And I think we're going to start working our way upwards uh, because we have scaffolding in the game. And I want to actually start checking that out. Uh, try start building with it. Let's go. Ahead. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, I'll check it out anyways. So scaffolding. There's also beams too. Uh, these are all decorative. I've seen the casing. That's going to be expensive. But I'll we'll check that out shortly. So let's get a steel furnace down. Uh, let's see. That's actually a stone furnace. Uh, I'd like to. I would like. It looks like a stone furnace, I guess, because the uh, corners are steel, maybe. Sorry, I just had one of those what the moments. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Uh, I do have a dryer on me somewhere. I th yeah, right there. Steel dryer. Uh, let's rotate it, get the output that side. And then basically the water comes in on the top. Hmm. Alright, I'm fine with an overhead pipe. I got no problem with that. As you can tell. So basically all I can do is just go up here. I am going to make sure I leave myself enough room to walk underneath. Like so. And... Like, so, like that. And even though I don't need it, I'm going to go excessive with the robots. Speaking of which... Uh, I probably do have some in my chest, but let's see, will two be enough? Probably not. Uh, I gotta get some planks too, let's make two of those. And I really wish you could run in this game. I keep hitting shift and it doesn't do anything, it's like, what's going on here? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this is backlog too, severely. And it's because I need a, a faster arc furnace. Uh, that'll probably be one of the first things I do when I get into aluminum is upgrade that now those aren't going through as fast as i'd like but oh uh, that's why i took the conveyor out that makes sense let's put that back in while we're here uh, just because okay there we go because i'm going to need those apparently uh a little noisy here i like that it's what I like about the shelves too. It gives you a visual representation of how much is in there. Uh, I'm sure if uh, if I would go over the 1,000 mark, it'll start showing up top, like it is with the copper, because I did a little bit more cop copper mining. Just not that we needed it, but just to get the system running to help the backlog on the the creosote there. Uh, but before I continue rambling, let's have a look at that. Well, that's a big I beam. I like that. Uh, how expensive was that? Three plates, that's not bad. Let's have a look at the corner here. This could be some interesting building, I gotta admit. Definitely, what else did I make? Oh yeah, scaffolding. I like that. Because we're going to be going, we're going to be going up pretty soon. Uh, also, too, we can make these lamps. Now, uh, I'm going to make it really dark just to show you how well these things actually work. You don't require power. So I get something like that. Uh, if I put a second floor above this, I can have the lights underneath, and they'll light up, and they don't require any power at all. But that being said, for recording purposes, bring on the day. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's go and uh, get this dealt with before the, the backlog kills us on the, the wastewater. Uh, so basically what it's going to be is, I've never actually done this yet, but it should work. I have a steel furnace and a steel dryer, so uh, it should go through it pretty quick. Uh, oh yeah, i got to make a hammer too. Not a macerator. Uh... Right there. Or not a hammer. Uh, press. I do have a press over there I could use, but that's my uh, miscellaneous press. 
Okay, that's going in. And you know what? I just realized I grabbed the wrong furnace. I want this running off the creosote. Okay, we'll grab you. Uh, creosote was coming off a steel pipe. Man, that's where aluminum's going to come in handy. How much I'm going to be able to make, I don't know. That all depends on how much ash I can make. We might have to cut down trees because I know the, the stone logs produce a, a real high amount of ash out of them. All right, so let's take this out. Thank you. And we will put that one in. And I have no idea what the input is. Uh, I guess we could chill that way. Okay, we're on the back. And that actually works. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some digging. Oh, maybe not. But uh, let me get this hooked up and I'll bring you back. Ooh, some free iron. Okay, I'm just getting the last couple of pipes in now. If I can place them properly. I'm trying to place on the block, not on the actual pipe. Because I don't want to box myself in. I could probably do it a little easier down here. There we go. Oh. And of course I went too far. Yeah. Let's try this again. Now that I know I'm actually in line. And I realized I had the pipe over there. I didn't have to go all the way over to where the tanks were. There we go. So now that should be getting fuel. It is. It's producing heat. Good. Uh, this is a good thing why I'm it's a good thing I'm actually paving this area. Covering it up. Oh, I'm gonna need a second boost. There we go. Up we go. Okay, and I put it on this side here. We're just gonna cover it up with a a conveyor. Um oh I turned my side outputs off. Uh something I actually want to check too. There's I think in the, the game here about the side icons. Oh, I wonder if I like that better. I almost like that better. I might keep it that way. Sure. That way it's not as cluttered. Now, this isn't going to be as big of a setup as I thought it would. Uh, I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's going to be really basic though. This comes out, goes into a metal press. Uh, the metal press requires... What do you even need? Uh, kinetics. We're going to make a steam engine too. You know, just because... Let's put the box all the way over here. It only takes... A, it's only a hop and a skip. Not even a jump to get there. And I do have a steam engine. Good. And over we go. So let's get a conveyor down. Actually, no. Uh, we're going to get a robot down. Let's clear up some inventory. Uh, actually, what I was thinking about doing, what do we have in here? I was going to get more of these shelves made. I do have logs. Oh, God, all this organic garbage. Uh, let's get rid of that. And can only make one shelf. Oh, more of these steel steel components. It's a good thing I started getting more of them made. Uh, definitely gotta get that. Oh, that's the wrong shelf. Uh, arc furnace is running a little faster somehow. I don't think way you can really do it is make another one. Uh, let's see here. I want to make. You know, I actually do want to make four of them. I actually want to make more of them, but we'll go with four for now. Uh, one of the reasons being is let's grab this because I want again. I want to know you know how much there is for inventory. That's gonna run through. That's gonna come out. Uh, this will take a second. What else can I do while we're waiting? Uh, let's get the robot set up. It's all about time management, right? All right. So the robot takes, uh, yeah, we'll take it out of the dryer, put it onto a conveyor, just because it can, doesn't, that's not, doesn't necessarily mean it has to, and 
Let's actually see if we need to have any other uses for that. You know what? Let's go in here. Uh, what can we use it for? Uh, rare earth dust? What? Oh, God. Probably stuff that's not even in the game yet. Uh, clay blocks. And then... We're going to need it for the electrolyzer. And cement. Okay. I am going to put another shelf here. I just want to see if it's something I want to be able to access with other machines. And doing it this way, then I can just have the robot put it in there, and then we can go from there. So, I was doing this for what purpose? Making clay. So, we have that. Uh, we will need this for the, the actual clay cement. That's what we're doing. Uh, oh, yes. Sidetracked. I'm putting one there, too. And then that way I know how much ore I actually have in there. Do the same with the iron. Oh, that's not going to work. I'll do that quickly. And hurry before it despawns. Like so. And gimme. There we go. And like just like that. Uh, if you hold control and just click one thing in your inventory, it transfers everything. And that's actually a really cool feature. So now I can actually see how much iron I have and how much copper I have in, in the system. Uh, the morning is coming, so... Shh, it's for recording purposes. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? We need the metal press for what? Uh, hmm. I'm sorry, I was lo I'm lost on this. Uh, hang on, I gotta figure out what I was doing here. Okay, I remember what I'm doing here. Uh, that's gonna be going in there for... We'll need it for the separator, uh, the electrolyzer at some point in time. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pull, pulling it out of here, and that's going to be going into the metal press. Uh, let's see, input on that side, so that means the steam engine's got to be over over here. Uh, there is an electric one we can get, uh, but I'm not confident about my power situation yet. Uh, I definitely want to look into steam. Uh, steam gas turbines because they generate an obscene amount of power or kinetic energy so this is going to go ahead and turn this into single blocks now i need steam and that was steam over there and uh, just because i will need more pipe though i do believe i really hope you had the, had the feature to be able to color the pipes oh that's not what i want to do yeah, that's what I want to do. Alright, so yeah, uh, let me get this hooked up. And off it goes. So then from here, what we're getting is we're getting... Uh, no, you're not supposed to be making those. But we could go that way. We could go the Rube Goldberg way. Uh, you were supposed to be making... No, you're supposed to be making single bricks. Hang on a second. What? So do that. Okay, we'll do it that way then. Yeah. Let's do it this way. Uh, so I will need stone furnace and I'll need another st or steel furnace. I'll need a st steel dryer. Make one of those. Uh, probably need a robot or two. Since it's there. I don't have any more. So the robot's going to take it out and it's going to put it into the stone dryer here. Or steel dryer. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. Actually, no. Fluid furnace. Ah, it's using my head. Okay, get the copper pipes out of the way. Grab the robots. And like so, and like so. So that's going to go into there. Is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, that's making the clay blocks. No, it goes into the cutting machine first. Now, nah, let me grab a few things. Okay. So 
So we'll start with the cutting machine. So the outs, the output, so the inputs on this side. That's not a cutting machine. No, 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 give me that, give me that. Okay, so I'm gonna need a steam engine then. Uh, make another one of those. Got steam right here, that's actually perfect. Let's get the pipe laid while we're waiting. And one and two. And we want the junctions. Grab the steam engine. The best thing about the, having it set up like this is I don't have to worry about. Oh. Hmm. I didn't think about that. I'm going to have two outputs here. So that means I'm going to have a filter in robot. I completely forgot about that. Uh, yeah. Well, I think, I think I have enough to make it. Uh, let me make uh, two robots, I'll be right back. Okay, I actually made a couple more. So I got one out and picked that out. And now we're gonna replace that with filtering robots. I gotta grab the outputs out of here. So I'll place this one down here. Oh, that's the wrong way. And I just noticed that this one actually has like a tether cord on it or something. All right, we are gonna set you to, oh, set you to clay dust. Uh, get you to take out one at a time. And then we'll put another one here. And you are gonna be set to do, let's see here. Hmm. I want to get one. I said give me twelve. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna cut one out because that's gonna give me exactly one. But in in the meantime, while we're waiting, I think I think we'll use the copper conveyors just because we can. And then there's gonna be two more shelves here. We'll rotate that. We'll create more shelves just because we can. Why not? Waste not, why not, right? That's my thing. That gave me two, really. Alright. I'll grab half of that, half of that. Uh, geez, how am I going to do this now? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me figure this out. You know, I'm sitting here for a couple minutes trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to get just one piece of clay. I totally forgot about the mouse wheel. You just scroll and it automatically gives you one unit. Alright, so that one for some reason got set up to clay, which or is fine. Well, So I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to put that in. So now that's going to take the clay out of here. And this one here, I'll set the clay dust. And I guess that's the thing about these robots, is they won't actually take it out anything else unless they're actually specifically told to take it out. So then it gets us clay dust and clay pieces. Now the clay pieces are going to go into a furnace, which means we need more robots, of course. Like so. Now we get into the furnace. Nope. Now we get to another metal press. Because now we're going to actually make these into bricks. So I'll make one of those. Uh, let me take the recording time here. Okay, we're not do doing too bad. I've probably been rambling on longer than I should have been. But let's go ahead and grab some more of these. Because I need to make another steam engine. Now this is why I don't want to be using power. Because if I start using power, I'm going to need a lot of it. So that means i got to find a way, better way to do it. And I think we probably won't be getting into proper power generation until we get into... Aluminum. Now we're going to put the steel furnace down here. Actually, no, we're not because it's going to go through a metal press first. Okay, get the copper line out. Actually, probably still need it, but do that anyways. Okay, like so. I'm going to have to get some more blocks down. I knew I should have expanded this longer. I uh, don't really have any way to build it except for manually. 
which isn't that bad, except for when you do that multiple times. Well, at least it gets picked up pretty easy. And yeah, you know what? Let's get a little bit more done. Okay, I think that should be good for now. So, so it comes out of here. Uh, actually, we're gonna put a steam engine down. Let's do that. Steam engine. We'll go another robot just because they're so cool. You gotta admit though, they are pretty neat. And we'll do that. And the only reason why I'm not using more conveyors is just. Uh, let's see, I'm on that side. And it's just because. Oh, yeah, because of how much space I'm using up here. Uh, now, in this case, do I use a dryer? Uh, hang on a second here. Use on that, get that. Oh, good. I was hoping I was going to have to go through a smelter for some reason. Which is good because that means it's going to be a lot faster. So we'll go like that. Steel dryer. And then that. And then bricks are going to go into another shelf. And then from the shelf they're going to go into... I think it was a hammer. Hammer will get us brick, clay brick. will get us crushed brick. And then we use that mixed with the limestone dust. Which we'll get into pretty quick here. All this for cement, huh? Well, I'm uh, sure it's not super easy in the real world. Uh, let's see, coming out of the oven, going into a hammer. Yeah. Make one of those. I just made something, what was it? Oh yeah, I made a shelf. And I made a shelf so I can access the bricks if I need them, or if I need them going somewhere else. Oh god, I need more robots, what do you know? Uh, definitely gotta get more steel production going. Let's have a nice peek at the morning sunrise through the mountains. Have my cup of morning, Joe. So, yeah, as you can see, even doing something as simple as dealing with wastewater can get quite complicated. Uh, I'll just ramble while I'm waiting for this. But, yeah, so it comes out of the dryer. The wastewater goes into the dryer, it comes out as clay dust. Clay dust goes into the press, becomes clay blocks goes into cutting machine comes clay pieces and more clay dust the clay dust i can actually f recycle back into here using conveyors to feed back into the system because that's what you do it's clay right and then it goes in there it goes into another metal press mix on fired bricks which goes into here oh yeah i gotta give you steam and then it becomes goes in here becomes bricks goes into here and then from here and then it goes from here it goes into another hammer and hammer is here and I'm having one of those moments where I check to see if I'm recording and yes I am yeah okay and then it goes from the hammer and then we get another robot that goes from here and another shelf and I just do the shelves just to have inventory and it's also good, also good to have some backlog, but uh, yeah, the reason why I haven't gone all the way with the, the terracotta yet is because from here we're going to be getting to the concrete. The, the concrete we're going to need a mixer and a dryer for, and then from there, let's see here, not concrete, yeah, concrete. Uh, so that's what we're working on right now in this process is the crushed brick, but now I got to make the cement dust. And the cement dust. It's gonna be raw cement dust, which is oh the clay dust, the clay dust and the limestone dust. So that's why I've got the other shelf there. In fact, we'll have to convey that all the way over here. I use junctions for it, just because I can, and it'd be cheaper. <laughs> Those conveyor junctions are super handy. Uh, they don't go super far, but. That's fine. And yeah. Okay, so let's see what I got for pipe. I'm good for pipe. I'm sorry, I'll try to watch the peas. I know that could be a little aggressive. Uh, yeah. Run a little steam line down here. Like so. Oh. 
I don't want that back. I might need it. Thank you. All right, and pretty simple. It goes there, it goes there. It bypasses the furnace because it doesn't actually need it. And comes into the automatic camera. And then from there, it goes into here. And then we'll have to get into the mixer. And the mixer actually requires power. So this is everything going. That still needs to be hooked up to the creosote line. Do I have steel pipe? I do not. Hmm. Make 10. And off the edge we go. We just got the line right here, so it's really easy to get to. Uh, let me hook this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the other furnace hooked up right now, and I'm just... I shut off the waistline, because this was almost empty, and I opened this back up. And I want to see how it's holding up. Might be... a little too much. We'll see. I can always disable the copper for now. It's actually almost run its course, so it shouldn't be too bad. We're not going to need a whole lot of copper. Like, I got a lot of parts here. How many of these do I have? 1,300. Uh, almost willing to do that, I think. No, we actually disable it right now. Let's go see how it's doing. Barely holding up. As long as that co cocoa keeps going through. through. Uh, there we go. I've got an empty, empty furnace right now. What's going on? What's going on here? Oh, we got a backlog. Okay, uh, I was kind of worried about that. If we get a backlog, then, uh, yeah, then we don't have any, any uh, cocoa going through. Hmm. Alright, okay, cocoa, creosote. So many issues. I was thinking about putting it into a chest. But I think we might have to start burning it. We're probably going to start needing more steam. So I could start getting it going through here. Uh, oh, the ash is already building up. Look at that. Uh, that one's already full. So we're having steam problems already. Every once in a while I actually have to do that. Go through there. Uh, give me a moment here. and Let me figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's what I've done. Uh, the outputs of the, the coal coke. Except for this one here. Uh... Yeah, I did this in the wrong spot. I meant to put it on, that on the other side. Uh, I'll, I'll redo it over there in a second. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have all the outputs feeding into the shelf here. Uh, it's feeding in at a reasonable rate enough to keep the, the coke ovens running. And then I was going to have it taken out by a robot to go back into here. But I shall return. Actually, you know what? The original, instead of my original plan, what I'm going to do is just put the uh, junction below this junction. So when these back up, it automatically feeds into here. At least I think. I don't know if that'd be a smart idea. Uh, just because it's not going to prioritize the belts. It's going to do a random. So maybe you'll do it the other way. Okay, just like that. So that's going to go into this shelf here. This is accepting the input from all six of them. And then these two robots are just going to keep this belt filled, which is going to feed half on one side and half on the other I think it was uh, yeah this side here feeds the, the boilers and furnaces on the back this side here f feeds the furnaces on the front so if I need to get a few more f uh, fuel furnaces going I can sort of branch off of this line but that's gonna help with that situation that's gonna keep the creosote running so you can you know basically Stockpile, stockpiling fuel so I can uh, stockpile fuel. So, and up we go. Let's go check on the creosote to see how that's holding. Not that it matters, it's like what we're using it for isn't like a cripple us. Now we're getting backlog. That's good. 
All right, so uh, bring up the morning. So we're almost done here. Let's see how we're doing. We actually already have some crushed brick. Okay, so now, now we gotta start getting to the cement. I went ahead and already made the steel mixer, so let's go, uh, or concrete. So we've got a crushed brick, now we got to get the cement dust. The cement dust goes through a steel dryer, uh, which we'll use with the fluid f uh, creosote for. So we'll create one of those while waiting, I think. Yeah, I'll have to make another one of those. So raw cement dust, we have the mixer for it. That's clay dust and limestone dust. Uh, limestone dust I have to get by gathering myself. Now, I think I might actually have some here. Oh, it's starting to get noisy over here. Alright, uh, limestone is pretty easy to find. Uh, there's some right there. Uh, like I said, I guess I got a whole bunch underneath me. I might actually have to go get that, but we'll have to have a shelf for that as well. Alright, so let's uh, back over here. So we have the clay. What do we... Let's see, we're making concrete cement dust raw cement dust with clay dust and limestone okay so we'll make another shelf then because we're going to need a shelf the limestone dust the limestone dust has to go through uh, a macerator i think i actually have one of those i might have to get a few more shelves made too how are we doing for steel hmm. Actually doing really good. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I wish there was ways to actually take like a single stacks instead of having to scroll everything. Alright, so a macerator. And a couple more shelves. I might need to make one more. Definitely like how these shelves look. So cool. Okay, so we have that. And since both of these are going to be going into a mixer, uh, is that right? See, oh wait, the limestone dust has to go through the macerator first, and the limestone dust goes with the clay dust. And then it goes with the crushed brick. So the crushed brick is down here, and it's got to get mixed with the, the cement dust after the dryer. So let's put everything in place first. Uh, try to keep everything like sort of parallel if I can. All right, and I also found out that conveyors will only input on that one side. And I was having some difficulty with that. Uh, we're gonna need a whole bunch more helping hands. Uh, let's make four. All right, so the final product was coming out. Oh yeah, this. It's going to be the cement dust, so it's going to be a dryer. Take this out. I'll take this one out as well. I have a fluid furnace ready to go. There. Uh, stick some pipe down just because. Grab my robotic arms. Like that. This is going to be coming out of... Mixer, yes, this is the first one we've made so far. Now let's see where the inputs are. Inputs on that side, outputs on that side. Uh, fair enough. Okay, now the mixer, I need two separate inputs. Yeah, you have up to three on this. And... Let's do a test here, just to see if it's actually going to be put on the side. I think it should. Uh, I'm actually just going to go on a limb and say it will. So we'll do that. We'll get those two guys working. Uh, or do I? So the dust is going to be there. How do I want to do this? Because I need the limestone. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the other shelf here for the limestone. Like so, because it's going to be going into a macerator. Okay, and where did that go? Where'd you put it on me? There you go. 
Okay, mass raider. And oh, what do you know? No, more robotic arms. So I must make a whole bunch. So mass raider into there, and then that goes into the mixer. So let's make a few more conveyors. I'm sure I got you know, copper conveyors I'm going to use, but I'm just going to do it this way. In fact, we got the other side to do it too, so let's do it this way. It's quite the process to make concrete, I gotta admit. And then from here, these two got to be mixed uh, with water, I do believe. Uh, yeah. With water in another mixer with kinetic energy and steel parts to make reinforced concrete. Oh, yeah. Sorry, without the steel parts to make concrete. Then with the steel parts to make reinforced concrete. Fun. Yes. Mm. Welcome to the rabbit hole. Oh, God. So many things I've misplaced in here. Okay. So we do that. Let's get the dryer down. Like that. And conveyors. Conveyors and robots. Uh, let's see. There. And there. And there. And then from here, we'll just go like so. Okay, another robot here. Another one here. And a steam engine. Oh, I'm missing parts. Do, 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 do. You know what? Let's take half of them. And just because I have the space. All right, steam engine. I'll be honest with you, I, like I, I've done it before, but it was sort of like mini batches. I never tried to actually automate the whole thing. It's quite the setup, I gotta admit. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think we're good on the arms. Let's get that out of there. Grab another steam engine. And what do you know? I have steam right over there. Alright, now we throw... where did I put that? I don't know what happened there. Limestone dust. So that's going to go into there. Oh, now we got a steam. Hang on a second here. Yeah, what's going on here? I must be having steam problems. Go check it out. Okay, boilers are all still going. I think we're having steam pumps. Hmm, I think that's the first thing we're going to be doing is upgrading to steam uh, aluminum boilers. That is fine. Uh, Except the fact you're not actually doing anything. Neither are you. This thing even connected. Mm, I have no idea. Yeah, apparently so. Uh, what I can do, and I was thinking about this. I could probably take these two off for now. Try to save some of the steam. I'm just not generating enough, I think, what's going on. Because that should be turning it into my ste in a steel mass raider with one kinetic energy gets limestone. Hmm. Actually, what am I do? Uh, let me get a, 
a backup boiler going. I'll bring bring it back. Okay, all dealt with. I just hooked up another boiler down here, down below, close to uh, the coal coke line. Hooked it up to the steam vet pipe, or actually put it right up below the steam pipe. So that means. Should be doing something. Why is this not working? Do I have this backwards? Is there kind of air interfering with it? Ah, we're generating steam now. Where'd that limestone go? I misplaced it. There it is. Definitely need to generate more steam. Okay, that is working. Wanna make sure. Yeah, it's just steam generation. Uh, that is the problem. So this is getting that and that. So now, let's see. So limestone dust. And the next it just gets raw cement dust. Okay. Now this needs power. No, it doesn't. Ugh. More steam. Well, I guess I'm going to have to hook up another, another boiler. And I'll show you what I got set up here. Go back here. I'll do... I got the water collector. Uh... Boiler and I have a lot of furnace already. Okay, down we go. And this uh, kind of coincides with my idea of eventually having to pave a basement down here just like so I work with all these conveyors and pipes and extra things. And then there's the arc furnace. Oh, so lovely. Okay, so let's just put it right here. Let's take this out. Let's take that out. Uh, I wish I had my screwdriver on me. Can I make it? Do you see a screwdriver in here? I do. I could make one, but I, I'm too lazy to do that. Or not make one, but I could go get my other one, but I'm just too lazy to do that. Uh, actually, we'll need that out. We'll take that, those two off the hot bar. We'll need the pipes. We'll grab... Where is the steel furnace? Steel furnace. Um, boiler. Yes. And water collector. Okay. So we'll start with uh, the furnace. Okay, output is going to be on red on here as well, so that fills up. I'll definitely have to deal with the ash eventually, but we'll probably do that next episode because I realize I'm rambling on and on and on, and this is taking a long time. All right, so let's go ahead and rotate it that way. I'm actually really enjoying that because you can place it down any way you want. You just click and drag, and there we go. So I'll go ahead and place... I'm going to use copper pipes just because I'm a cheapskate today. Oh, and the water collector. Okay. So that gets us hopefully enough steam. There's the electric alternatives to this, but I really don't want to be doing going down that route. And it almost looks like we're getting a backlog. Good. We might be able to make, actually make concrete now. And one more. Okay. There we go. Macerator is running. And this is filling up. Gotta make it to the steam engine or two or three. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put these back. Just because, we're pro just because we're probably gonna need them pretty soon. And I have to make a few more. It's fine, I got plenty of supplies. Oh, I did not craft it. Oh, it's getting dark. We'll do this quickly. Nobody saw that. And we'll get this going. We've got to get our copper line in, which means more copper plates. And what am I going to do? Just because I got all these ingots over here, which I haven't dealt with yet. I'll go ahead and we'll just make pipes out of this. Just because. There, like that, and 
No. Those. And I know it's expensive me doing it by myself like this, but whatever. I'm using them just to waste them. Okay, so now we've got the steam engine should be ready. Yes, it is. Okay, I do that. Put one there. Don't need anything else. Pipes are coming through. Uh, this has got to be hooked up to the fuel line. Let's go do that. And hopefully the creosote holds up. If not, you know, I do realize I'm going to have to put, put more coke furnaces in and more bamboo farms, right? Or coke ovens. No, that's not the jetpack I want. Okay. Uh, pipes uh, should be ready. Uh, sneak over here. And there we go. So I gotta take that out and lock it. Nope. Uh, come on, unlock that. I don't think it really matters, but we'll do it that way anyways. Alright, and... Uh, inventory issues again. Ah, whatever, I'm sure it'll do its thing. And that is turned into uh, cement dust. And then from here it goes into another mixer. Yay, fun stuff. I'm actually glad I added a couple more boilers. That's not a mixer. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. A big giant egg beater. Now for this. Hmm. Trying to think. Because where the robots are going to be placed, right? Actually, we could do it that way. Let's do it that way. Uh, okay, well, that's not a mixer. That is a mixer. And. Ooh, I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay, well, then we're going to have to do it this way then. Yeah. We'll do it that way. Uh, I'll craft a whole bunch of conveyors. How many robots do I have? I have none. Not enough, anyways. All right, uh, give me a moment. I'll bring you back when I get stuff done and we'll finalize this process. Okay, I had to reconfigure things a little bit. Uh, because again, kinetic input is on the side here. Let's get a few more of these out. Just so I have a little bit more space to work. And we're actually almost done here. Uh, like, it's a lot more involved than I thought. Like, this is crazy. This is like an entire addition to our factory just for concrete. So we can expand. <laughs> As usual. Alright, so let's get a steam engine down steam engine there. Now, I put it like this because uh, one, we could put the robot here and that robot will just put the limestone right in there. Now, this one is going to have to go like so and then we're going to have to use conveyors on this one uh, just because I have to have water input too. Oh. That's what the screwdriver is for. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Alright, let's get the screwdriver out and water collector. Okay, now we just gotta hook up this to steam. And what do you know? I see the pipeline right ahead of me. Let's see if we connect right to it. Do I have enough pipe for it? I do. More than enough. And as per usual, we will take a robot, actually. Yeah, we will put a robot like so, and a shelf, and that is going to get us our first first concrete. 
let's go ahead and check this out see what we have for a new building supply or building uh pallet i should say so that's the regular concrete which actually is a really nice texture it almost looks like well, it looks more like cement than concrete just really poorly finished cement almost a marbly texture Okay, so now if we go like this, we can go in here, we can make concrete bricks, and we can also make concrete tiles. We get a couple of different types. Let's, let's check them out. We'll add a few more of these just because. Actually, no. We don't want to see any more of those. Okay, that is concrete. This is concrete tiles. Which isn't bad. I don't want to adjust the day because... They can be too bright or too dark. Concrete bricks, which is a little more almost greeny version of this. And then we have the concrete small tiles, which I actually do like. It's not too bad. But we're probably going to end up calling this one here. This has been quite the project going from wastewater to concrete. Crazy. Uh, we definitely had to do some expansion over there in the, the steam department. I will have to keep an eye on the creosote and the coal coat, make sure everything, you know, holds up because we're okay now, but we just had a few more furnaces to the system and it's sort of hovering here right now. As long as these things don't backlog or have any issues, it should be okay. Um, next episode, or let's see, we got it. Got the clay and concrete. Next episode, we're getting to aluminum, which is good because that's going to help us deal with the the ash situation that is going to start giving us problems. Because if one of these backs up with ash, it's not going to burn. Speaking of which, oh, it's right here. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, but eventually, these are going to start filling up, and if they start filling up with ash. Then they're not going to be burning. They're not going to be generating any heat. If they don't generate any heat, then we're not producing any fuel, and the whole thing shuts down. So yeah, it's uh, we are entering the rabbit hole. It is no joke. All this just for aluminum or uh, concrete. And what I'm going to do is I wasn't going to do a cut for this, but we'll do it this way instead. Uh, I'm going to build up, and we'll get a nice view of it from up top. If I could get up there, I've got to be careful not to build inside myself because I've learned from previous experience you will clip through it. So there we go, there is our concrete production. And there is something else. So we got wastewater going in there, turning into clay, goes in there, goes from clay, turns into clay blocks, goes into the cutting machine, which turns into clay pieces and clay dust. The clay dust. It goes through here with the limestone dust and becomes uh, raw cement dust. And it goes from here, mixes it, it becomes plain old cement dust, mixes with crushed brick and water, and becomes cement dust, which of course comes out or with cement dust and becomes concrete. So, yeah, that is that. So for what I'm going to do for the next episode is I'm going to try to get a little bit of AFK done, get as much of this concrete set going as I can. And we're going to progress into aluminum where things start to get complicated. And it's just a taste of what's to come with stainless and beyond. And uh, I'm, even, I'm even nervous about it. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.